Okay, so what's going on? And today I'm going to introduce you back to what's new in Blocks 1.3 Beta Build 2. And we're going to get straight into the video. So the first thing you're probably going to be eager to know is about the forms and how they work. Um, we're doing a video thoroughly explaining how to test them soon using a program called MAMP. I'll teach you guys to set it up and all that, as I think that's pretty useful. So when you come in, you'll see if you go on Forms on Common, uh, the actual, uh, actual pre-built form now is here. So you can use that. And see it pops it in right there and you get all the button you get a form you get a form container that you can it's quite hard to select there you go but you basically put the send to the email you want to send to send from so you can put any email it could be the same one as the first one if you wanted it to be and give it an id in case you have multiple forms in your work basically they have submit that is to submit a form you can also select your own stuff as well uh, i think you guys probably already know what that is so if you come over here go over to forms and you see you can use radio buttons you can do all that as well they work pretty well in the new in the new blocks thing so there you go it automatically I think they work I'm guessing they do um, so yeah that's the first new thing added the second new thing added is the support for column resizing so if I show you give you guys a demonstration of this here so we're gonna open this one here so you'll see you get this little blue line in the middle only works on some of the blocks and you can basically change the width so you have a really thin one, really big one. Yeah, so that's neat and handy if you want to have a really thin picture on one on the left and then description on the right. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, next thing you probably just saw then is the ability to change, have these really thin column widths. I'm not sure why. They probably would be useful, but not. I haven't found a use. I found a use for this one. I can use that in a Tumblr template that somebody requested me to do. Uh, yeah, so I'll be using that in that. Um, new, yeah, we've done that improve add a new cursor yeah so another thing you guys probably did see me use it is when you right click you see you get this new cursor element here that changes depending on what you've done so you see h2 there photo should look like a photo if I, there you go and the radio button looks like a radio button that's pretty cool uh, so that's basically gives you a lot of what you're actually placing also a bit more accuracy in what you're placing as well because you have the actual cross has to be on the place you want to place it uh, it's pretty good um got support for Apple shortcut dragging and dropping so for this I'm going to put in a button uh, yeah, let's put a standard button and then what you want to do is I'm going to create another place to blow here so what you want to do is hold command or just hold command and drag it into the new box I see that moves it if you go command shift or command alt is it yeah command alt Basically, you can double it, and so it's a good way to copy and paste stuff. So we go Command Alt. There you go. You can drag it again. That's a really handy feature. If you want to copy some elements over, I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think that's all pretty much. Uh, here's you go. Change the list on the thing. A few bugs. Uh, the developer API API is coming in the first release of Blocks, which is next Tuesday. I think it's the 14th. Do you open up my calendar here? 14th. There we go. Tuesday. Delete that tragic game <laughs> and that's that's coming next tuesday or wednesday probably we'll see and so he go his reason is here i'll let you read that uh, it's gonna be in 0 0.5 so there's still a few bugs in it but it should be all right and i'll see you guys in the next box video bye, -bye.